It's Tuesday, June 1st, 2010. I'm Andy Waits in the News Bunker with a review of today's front pages. First, the New York Times. After a deadly raid at sea, Israel is sharply criticized. Commandos halt aid flotilla for Gaza. Netanyahu cites violent resistance. Well, only if you count an angry mob with clubs and knives as violent resistance. Meanwhile, Iran is said to have fuel for two nuclear weapons. And since Israel seems to be the only one willing to do anything about that, you have to wonder if that flotilla provocation is sort of designed as a distraction. Owners stop paying mortgage and stop fretting about it. They say, hey, it's the bank's fault for giving us a loan we couldn't afford. Now, the Los Angeles Times. Israel draws global outcry for fatal raid. Here's how soldiers in Afghanistan observed Memorial Day. And back home, battlefield of red tape. Veterans are fighting bureaucracy to get benefits. State voters lean toward legal pot. It's on the ballot this year. 49% support legal weed. 41% are against it. And oil? What oil? Vacation havens that have yet to see a drop of oil on their beaches are already hurting. And undersea robots may save the day. Well, what do you suppose the Jerusalem Post headlines are all about? Israel faces international outcry after 10 killed in Navy takeover of flotilla headed to Gaza. Here are frames from video showing the commandos being beaten and stabbed. Some say, well, maybe the commandos should have bought a ticket instead of rappelling in from helicopters. In fact, every headline on the Jerusalem Post front page is this story. Israel says its commandos were brutally attacked before opening fire. Ankara pushes for censure at the UN Security Council. You know what, let's escape this in small-town America. The Charleston, South Carolina Post and Courier. It's even here. Flotilla battle a threat to talks. Israel activist clash puts peace efforts in question. What efforts were those? Hurricane season begins today. It scares the devil out of me. Now, they're talking planning here. Here's a map showing how many hurricanes have made landfall along the coast. New storm names for this year. Let's hope we never even see Bonnie. And here's a thought. Hurricane's effect on spill uncertain. Creepy thought, huh? Sounds like a Stephen King plot. And that's the front page review for Tuesday, June 1st, 2010. In the News Bunker, I'm Andy Waits.